Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Emad and here's my follow-up video about Android 13 Beta 1. Today I'm going to show you even more features compared to the initial video and thank you so much for sharing every new change you spotted after installing Beta 1 in the comments below. That did help me a lot and please continue doing this. Before starting let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos and here's the channel's donation link in case you want to support me in any way. And now let's jump in let's start with the lock screen and on the left i have the previous version of android 13 developer preview 2 to show you another animation in the unlocking keypad in my previous video i mentioned the new animation that appears when you tap on the buttons but now if you enter the wrong passcode the keypad will also give you a new animation here if you take a look this new animation doesn't exist in the previous version of Android 13. The second change is related to the priority conversations. As you see here on the top, I have two priority conversations, one on each device. And that's why you see the profile picture. And when I go to the always on display in Android 13, as you see, I still have the profile picture of the contact showing on the always on display, while here in 12L, it shows the app icon instead. One final change in the lock screen, as you see here, in beta 1, the clock or the double line clock is bigger than developer preview 2 and the same thing applies to the lock screen. So if you don't have any notifications, you will see even bigger clock on Android 13 now. Now let's move on to the home screen and the first change is the removal of the rolling effect whenever a change happens to the suggested apps as shown here in 12L. But now in Android 13, when I do the same thing, I don't see any animation. So here on the Pixel 5, as you see, I'm doing exactly the same thing, but the rolling effect is no longer showing. The second change is under the wallpaper and the style app. If you remember in my previous video, I showed you the dual colors that you can find under the basic colors category. And as you see, I have the dual colors in page two, page three, and page four. But once I turn on the dark theme, the number of dual colors will change. Now page two is only showing solid colors, same as page three, with the exception to the last one. And in page four, you will see the rest of dual colors, which means when you activate the dark theme, the number of dual colors will be much less. Now let's move on to the split screen and it got a couple of new improvements. The most interesting one is the ability to start split screen from your notifications. So for example, if you have an app running on the phone and then you got a notification, just tap and hold on the app icon and then drag it. It will show you the drop targets so you can choose to put the app at the top or towards the bottom. And once you release your finger, the split screen will start. Keep in mind the feature doesn't work when you try to do the same from the notification pop-up itself. It has to be done from the notifications shade, like this. The second improvement is if you have an app pair already set up like this one, and then you started the split screen from a different app. Previously, once you tap on this app pair, it will always pick the one at the top and add it to the split screen. But now you can choose either the top or the bottom. So I'm gonna choose YouTube Music now, which is the one at the bottom. And as you see, it allowed me to do so. Now let's move on to the quick setting styles and now you will get a better animation when you interact with the buttons. So for example, on the left I have 12L and then I will expand the internet tile on both. When I tap on the gear icon next to the Wi-Fi connection, look what happens. It will first dismiss the notifications shade and then it will show me the settings page. But now in Android 13 beta 1, when I do the same thing, the actual card itself will expand to show me the same page. The second change is in the landscape mode. In 12L, when I tap on the user switcher, as you see, it almost fills the entire width of the screen, but doing the same in Android 13 will show you a much smaller card. Now let me show you some random changes that I didn't mention before. And the first one is the new battery saver notification. If your phone battery is 20% or less, the notification says battery saver turns on dark theme, restricts background activity and delays notifications. From here, you can turn on the feature immediately or tap on no thanks to dismiss it. Let me also show you a couple of things related to the clipboard. When I copy any text and then tap on the floating card, now we can see the app source here under the copy button, which is something I didn't notice in my previous video. Another change related to the clipboard, any copied items will be automatically removed after one hour. The last thing to show you in this chapter is the new unified system-wide search that you can access from the home screen or the app drawer. 
I activated this feature using the command shared by Mesha Rahman yesterday, but unfortunately the search functionality doesn't work. As you see, when I search for anything, nothing happens. So I'm not sure if this issue is only impacting the Pixel 5 or other models as well. Thankfully, after creating a new user on my Pixel 5, now the feature works as expected. And when I search for apps, as you see, they started to show up, but I don't see any app shortcuts or contacts showing in my search results. However, what's new here is the addition of Google search along with the system-wide search all together in the same screen. Another problem I noticed, the mic icon showing here doesn't do anything. It only works when you tap on it from the home screen. On top of this, there is no settings to modify your search results. And also there is no option to automatically expand the keyboard when you swipe up from the home screen. Now let me show you even more changes under settings and the first one is the appearance of the face unlock feature only when you search for it and as you see here from my recent searches I have it under security and then advanced settings but unfortunately tapping on it will not show you the feature because it doesn't exist now. As per the rumors, the Pixel 6 Pro might be the only phone that will get this feature due to its better front-facing camera that supports the dual pixel technology. Till now, it's not 100% confirmed, but the appearance of the face unlock feature under settings should give us some hope. The second change is under display and then screen saver. Now we have a toggle to turn the feature on or off. And instead of having an option here called never under the when to start menu. And this is how it looks on my Pixel 4a. As you see here, I have never, which is no longer the case. And when I go back, I don't have any toggle at the top, but now in beta one, it's different. Change number three is under system and then multi users. And now the add user icon is an avatar and instead of the plus sign like developer preview two. Change number four, when you go to guest user, we no longer have the option to select what apps to uninstall like developer preview one. Lastly, some of you reported that the ultra wide band toggle is no longer accessible after installing Android 13 beta one on the Pixel 6 models. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to share with you today. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted even more features. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.